Welcome back. Fred Crick, Chris Penn. Go we'll talk a little bit about the IDS and the evolution of our boards that are inside the outdoor unit. This right here beside me is the old BOVA 60, which was the five ton. And you can notice that we had actually a lower board, a higher board, and a bridge rectifier right in the middle. Uh, caused a little bit of a trouble and an issue at that point in time because sometimes we, the contractors, the service guys really didn't understand which board to replace and do I replace all three uh, items and that kind of thing. Owed, and now we have gone and basically um, revolutionized and made simpler, I think, uh, our boards with the IDS product. Chris, tell us about those two. Over here on your left, we've got the old 15 sear board. Okay. Okay. Um, and since we're kind of changing everything over to the, the new refrigerant and stuff, so there's going to be some board changes. One of the biggest changes with the old 15 sear board is that ability to change the tonnage. Okay? Go from a five to a four. From a five to a four, okay. or, or you know, from a three to a two, okay. right? On this particular board, it was the SW6. Okay. Um, as we convert over to the new product, this actually is 15 sear board is going to actually change to a J2 to match the rest of the boards. So not only oh. on the premium, it's J2. On this new uh, the, the board here shown in the middle is the IDS Ultra board. Wow. Okay. And that is, uh, you know, comes with the J2 that's going to, to change it from a five ton to a four ton. Okay. And the board we have in the middle is the new IDS Ultra board. Okay. Okay. As you can see here, pictured here, this is going to be what we're going to call the E box assembly. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, we have the ability, in the event that we have a board failure, um, we have the ability to either change the board itself or the whole e-box assembly. And there's a process, a procedure for, for each. So the, the old boards had the display up here on the top. Okay. And it looks like the new board is displaying down here at the bottom. Yeah, on the IDS Ultra, there was a lot of design change uh, with that board. Um, new fan driver up here at the top, and that's okay. kind of why we had to move some things around a little bit. Okay. The, uh, so, it still it looks like to me it still has the check button and the force button and that kind of thing. We may have to pay attention to what it actually says on there because they may have been switched around from left to right and right to left, that kind of that thing. That is correct. That oh, SW5 wow, wow. and the SW4, oh, you're going to pay attention. The premium is going to be, uh, you know, SW5 is on the right, whereas the Ultra SW5 is on the oh, left. Oh, wow. So we're okay. going to have to pay attention to the dip switches. Okay. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of configuration there. Um, and then we, again, we had some additional sensors added to it, along with that crankcase heater. Um, and so kind of the design of that board has, has changed a tiny bit. Another key point here, too, is, is the, the checking the, the, the DC volts on P and N. Okay. We now have an easy uh, connection spot right up there. Oh, sweet. And so okay. we can get our meter leads you yep. know, on that. So that, that if, if we pull the disconnect and the screen goes black, the book says for us to get our voltmeter out and take our DC voltmeter and go between those two points. Okay. Okay. Those two points are here and here, P and N. That's correct. Um, that way, if it's less than 42 DC volts, the, the board has discharged itself. There's nothing in here for us to discharge and help it out and all that kind of thing. I noticed the other thing on, on this particular board, we have common blue, yellow, and white, basically terminals that we uh, fit into with our low voltage when we're wiring it up, four wire, what we, let's say, let's say it's uh, old style type thing. That particular, when I was reading the IOM, that particular common was brown, and now it's gone to? It's gone to black. Oh, okay. We have actually made another change there too. And with that ultra product, it does come shipped as a communication uh, style uh, logic. Okay. If I did want to do non-communication style logic, I would actually have to use the harness that comes in the right. in the goodie bag okay. to plug into that. Um, still the same four-wire connection, a little bit different than the board that you pictured or, or talked about over there on, on the left there, um, or my left. Um, so it's still going to have the same four wires. It's going to be a Molex plug connection, and yes, our common is going to go from brown to black. Okay, wow. So. This is what our book would call a, the uh, the part would be a, an e box accessory. E box assembly, e box accessory. It's so I remove the top. I take all the screws out that I need to take. Take the Molex plug. Take the high voltage wires, the low voltage, and I I slip this up, and it becomes mine. It's about a ten minute process. Yes, sir. You know, oh. again, a lot of screws. Like you said, it's got to take the top off. Got to unplug some things, um, but it eliminates perhaps of of. Getting in here, I mean, this thing has a lot of screws on it as well. Um, there are some boards 
um, that we're able to kind of lift that board off of the heat sink, but okay. this new Ultra board is a little bit different design and we're gonna see that when we, oh, wow. we do have another board or another style of replacement.